there's something about a people who are resilient a people who are united and in their unity somehow come out strong in the recent war between russia and ukraine or rather the invasion of ukraine by russia we have seen a resilience of the people from the ukraine how they sort of stood up for themselves how they did not give in to despair we saw them united and as many countries watched from afar we became happy for them we became almost one with them in South Africa at the time of looting at the time of, of, of the floods whenever we saw men and women doing their best to restore peace whenever we saw men and women coming together to make sure that things don't go haywire whenever we see unity we become happy unity is a sign of hope unity in the midst of despair reminds us that not all is lost let us pray god our loving father we thank you for the gift of your son our lord jesus christ who assures us unity and peace may we live in your love but also may we be exemplars of unity may we sow the seed of unity wherever we go through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen our gospel reading is from Jesus' priestly prayer in the 16th chapter of John's Gospel. Here we see Jesus praying. This was just before he was to be crucified. But I think in our context, it's even better. We've just celebrated the ascension and we're looking forward to Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. And in this period, where the church, as it were, is about to take up the reins, after Jesus has gone up into heaven, it's now up to us who are remaining behind the church of Christ to make a difference in the world, to take whatever we've seen from him, to take his example, to take his way and show it to the world. And hence he prays for us. He prays for his disciples, but he prays that he prays also for those who are going to come into conversion through the preaching of the disciples. Jesus says that that they may be one. He prays to God that we may be one. And in mind and one in heart as we preach the gospel with our lives. One with Jesus in his suffering and in his pain. When we see those who are dispersed, those who are losing hope, those who are in trouble. One in mind and one in truth as we try to seek out what God wants for us in our lives. Jesus prays that we may be one. That our discipleship may be one. That in our ministering we may be one. That we might call on Jesus in different ways but in living out our truth that we may be one. Men and women from all walks of life but especially you and I who call on the name of Jesus as our Lord and Saviour are called to be one. And as we conclude this season of our reflections of these audio reflections that we are listening to may also as we continue our lives as we go on to ordinary time may we understand that there's nothing about being ordinary we are called to be christians who always live a life of true discipleship that we are always one that we are united and together 
we try to make Christ present to the world. May God bless us all. Amen.